Hello, and welcome to the Power Hungry Performance Training Series. Today we're going to cover the basic usage of the HydroFlash software. This software was designed to be as simple to use as possible, with most functions being pretty intuitive. To start, let's go over some of the main features. At this time, we do not yet have a Hydro chip connected to the computer, but if you look in the lower right corner, you'll see that the software provides an indication that you, as to whether or not you are online. If you do not show to be online, the first thing you'll want to do is make sure that you have an internet connection. The software will require an internet connection in order to download calibrations to be burned onto the chip. If you have any difficulty with the connection, please contact us and we will help get the issue resolved as quickly as possible. In most cases, antivirus software installed on the computer is the cause of the connection issue. Next to the online status, the software will display what your current user ID is. Most customers will be registered under the default user ID unless they've ordered custom tunes. In order to access any custom tunes you may have ordered, you will need to enter the activation code provided by Power Hungry Performance. To activate the software, click on the Help menu and then click Activate Software. The activation code will be 16 digits and must include the hyphens. Once activated, your software will be linked to your account and you can download your custom tunes. Now let's connect our Hydra chip to the USB port. If you have the chip installed on a vehicle, make sure that the key is in the off position before connecting the USB cable to your computer. Once the chip is connected, the screen will display a list of all the positions and what calibrations are programmed into those positions. Since this is a new chip, all the positions will be blank. To load a file in a position, simply click on the change link and then select the file that you wish to program onto this position. In this example, we're going to use the VRAA6S3 family. This is commonly known as the PMT1 calibration. You'll notice that there are three columns in the file selection window. The calibration group, the horsepower level, and the type of calibration. We're going to start with the 25 horsepower towing tune. Simply click on your selection and the calibration will be queued up and ready to program. You can then move down to the next position and make another selection, or you can immediately program this position. To program this position individually, just click on the small program button for that position. If you've made a mistake and you don't want to load a calibration into that particular position, click the Undo button to remove any pending changes for that position. Now we're going to select three files, programming the first file individually and the other two changes with a single click operation. You do not have to program each file consecutively, so if you'd like to move certain files into a specific position, just select the position you'd like and program it with the calibration of your choice. What we're going to do here is we're going to put a 25 horsepower tune in position 2. We're going to put a 40 horsepower tune in position 4. And then we're going to put a 100 horsepower tune in position 10. The software and hardware will let you do that. It will allow you to select any position that you want, leaving other positions blank. When the chip is plugged back into the vehicle, it will only display positions 2, 4, and 10. To program the first file, we'll click the Individual Program button. The file will automatically be downloaded from the server and programmed onto that position. Programming usually takes less than 20 seconds. Once the program is completed, the software will then update the display to show what is programmed into that position and when it was programmed. It will also display the user ID of the, of the individual that programmed it, but in most cases this will be user ID 1, which is the default. Now we'll go ahead and click the bulk operation button to program the other two positions. Like the single position, this software will automatically download the files from the server and then place them onto the desired positions. You do not need to change the switch during this operation. The software and the chip handle all position adjustments internally, so you can click once and literally walk away until the programming is complete.
If you decide that you want to remove a calibration from a position, just click the red X in the, in the position to place that operation in queue. Like programming, you can undo the change by clicking the undo button, or you can process the operation by clicking on either the individual program button or the bulk program button. Once you've selected your calibrations, you can print out a convenient list of the calibrations to keep in your vehicle. Just click on the print icon, select your target printer, and then click OK. We hope you've enjoyed this instructional video. If you have any questions about this tutorial or any of our products, please contact Power Hungry Performance at gopowerhungry.com. Thank you for watching.